He never acquired any possession for himself. It was related by Aisha radiallahu anha, the wife of the Prophet wasallam. She said, verily when the Prophet wasallam passed away, he left no dinara, no dira. It means he left no dollar, he left no pound, he left no currency, he left no money. The only thing that he left was a white mule that he used to ride on, a coat of armor that he used to wear, a cloth that he used to cover himself with, and a bowl that he used to eat from. And he said, give this to the Ibn Sabir. Give this to a wayfarer. So the Prophet said, he did not die owning property to be distributed to his family and his relatives because he said, verily, a prophet has no inheritance. Subhanallah. And when the Prophet was on his deathbed, he was dying. He was in the house of Aisha radiallahu anha. And he would pass out and come back to consciousness. And he would pass out and come back to consciousness. And on one occasion, he came back to consciousness and he asked Aisha, Oh Aisha. Is there anything in our house of value? She said, Ya Rasulullah, I have a few dinarans or dirahams. I have a few dollars. I have a few pounds. I have a few coins. The Prophet said, Give them away. She was silent and he passed out. He passed out. He went unconscious again. And Aisha, a mother, a wife of the Prophet, a mother of the believers, a woman. She thought like a woman. Maybe I should hold that money. It's just a small amount of money. If something happens, I will have something. And when the Prophet became conscious again, the first thing he says, Oh Aisha, what did you do with that money? She said, Ya Rasulullah, Wallahi, I was holding it because I was afraid if something should happen. He said, Oh Aisha, what will Muhammad do? What will he do if he dies and he leaves this world, leaving some property? So, oh, Aisha, give it away, please give it. Yet he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best of you is those who are best to his family, to his wife. And I am the best of you to his family. Evidently, he didn't mean the best of you is he who leaves the most money to them because he didn't need anything. He left it upon the Muslim to take care of their mothers because his wives, they were, his, they were the mothers of the believers.